Figure above trace on an oscilloscope for an alternating current source when the time base is set to 40 milliseconds per division. Eh? Which of the following pattern will be seen on the screen if the time base is set to 20 milliseconds per division? Now, first of all, this must be wrong, okay? This must be wrong. Eh? Why? Because uh, it only changed the time base. It does not change the Y gain. Eh? So the Y gain should uh, be the same. Eh? So two division up, two division down. Eh? So two division up, two division down. So this one is out already. Okay. First of all, let's see. Let's see the period of uh, the first one. Okay. Now this one, the time base is a uh, 40 millisecond per division, and then it take four division. Four division to make one complete oscillations, right? So the period, the period is equal to four multiplied by 40 millisecond, eh? which is equal to uh, 160 milliseconds. 160 millisecond. So then let's check this tree, eh? which one has 160 milliseconds. Eh? Uh, the time base is set to 20 milliseconds per division. Eh? If the period is uh, 160 milliseconds, then 160 milliseconds divided by uh, 20 milliseconds per division. Okay, then this is equal to 8 division, right? Because it needs uh, 8 divisions. Eh? For this uh, movement, for this one, 160 milliseconds, uh, the period 160 milliseconds. So then we see which one, uh, which one the period is uh, 8 division. Now, this one, the period just 2 division, uh, okay, 1, 2, okay, 1 complete oscillation, 1, 2. So this one out, so this one out, this one out, okay. Then, so how about this one, okay, this one, uh, 1 complete oscillations, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, so 5, 5, 10 division. So this is also not correct. So then this one, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, one complete oscillations, 8 divisions. So then this is correct. Uh, because this one is still the same source, eh? so the frequency is still the same. Frequency is still the same. And uh, the period is still the same, 160 milliseconds. Okay, 160 milliseconds. And this one, 100 millis uh, 160 milliseconds, just 4 divisions. But we, if the time base switch to uh, 20 milliseconds per division, okay? It needs uh, 8 divisions uh, to make one complete oscillation. Okay, this one. Figure above shows a bright spot at the centers of the screen. I think it should be this one, okay? Uh, at the centers of the screens of a uh, category oscilloscope, if the Y shift and if the X shift and Y shift is adjusted so that the potential at Y1 is lower than Y2, and the potential at uh, x1 is higher than x2, okay. Now you need to know that higher means positive, eh? lower means negative. Positive, high, negative, low, eh? okay. Uh, they say y1 is lower than y2. y1 is lower than y2 means that this is negative, this is positive, okay. x1 is higher than x2, so x1 positive, x2 negative. This is electrons, so you need to know, okay, electrons. It will move towards the positive and move away from the negative. So it will move to the positive and move down also to the positive. Eh? So it moves to the left and move downwards. So the answer is this one. You will have uh, this one. So the answer is R, eh? R. Okay, the figure shows a sonar signal recorded on a cathode oscilloscope when it is estimated by a ship and reflected back by the seabed. Given that the time base of the cathode oscilloscope is set to uh, 100 milliseconds per division, find the depth of the sea beneath the ship. Okay, so from here, uh, you can see that. So you send the signal out. Okay, after five divisions, uh, one, two, three, four, five. After five divisions, then uh, the detector detects the reflected wave. Uh. Uh, so the design is something like this. You have a shape, and then uh, this is water, and then this is the seabed, okay? So you send the signal, okay, and then it reflect back. The detector is here, okay? So when you uh, send the signal, okay, so the detector, the detector actually is just next to the 
it's just next to the emitter okay so when a signal is produced uh, straight away it will detect the uh, the signal so that is before the signal move out okay so we detect a signal and this signal go down and then reflect it back okay and then the detector will detect the signal again uh, because and it will lose energy uh, when you go down and come back okay it will lose energy so the second one okay the amplitude will be lower than the first one because uh, when you travel down and come back uh, it will lose energy so the time taken uh, for it to go down and come back the time taken is a uh, four division and each division is 100 milliseconds uh. so the time taken is uh, 100 milliseconds multiplied by five uh. so it's a uh, 500 milliseconds 500 milliseconds is 0 0.5 seconds uh. 0 0.5 seconds and then so we can find the distance travel the distance travel is equals to the speed times the time uh. The speed is 1,500 times the time, so it's uh, 750 meter. Now this one is just the distance travel. Distance travel means that it go down and come back. That is the distance travel, okay? But the depth, the depth, uh, the depth is half of the distance travel, right? Because it go down and come back. Uh. Half of this of the distance travel, so it's uh, half times uh, 750. So it's equal to uh, 375. So the answer 375 meter.